want to talk about this fact that I heard. Well, I don't know if it's kind of like an internet fact, I guess. But I heard Jordan Peterson say this. I heard him say that birth control is more profound of an invention than maybe anything else that has come here in the 20th century because of the effects that it's had on our society. And I absolutely believe it 100%. When we gave reproductive rights over specifically to one sex, women. And since that happened, all you gotta do is look around at the facts. Um, but let's listen to Rolo Tomasi on his view of what I was just talking about. One stat that tracks almost identically with the rise of use of hormonal birth control is the divorce rate right from 1965 through 1975. It is, okay, I know correlation is not causation, but that is one fucking hell of a correlation. So why have the divorce rates been the same for a while? Why have the divorce rates not continued? Like, why have they been pretty steady? Because nobody's getting married. Well, so you're asking why, and I think our cultural, like, conception towards marriage has changed. The narrative around marriage has changed. Well, I wanted to mention that turned the human race upside down, which is we gave the human race the right to choose between marriage and birth control. Well, that's your opinion. I wanted to mention that turned the human race upside down, which is we gave the human race the reproductive process solely over to one sex, unilaterally to one sex, not only with hormonal birth control, but also with free and available abortion. Those are the two inventions really that happened by the way in that same decade right there that essentially I was, I, I've said this before is that I, it was more damaging to the human race than an atomic bomb okay it has changed more about human society than anything else so look at, look, look at all the things that track between 1965 and 1975 you got what happened in 1971 we the gold standard what happened in 1968 we have the uh, no fault divorce which of course the conservatives which I disagree on say that the problem with you know society right now is because we have no fault divorce no no fault divorce was meant to facilitate all of the divorces that have been happening as a result of hormonal birth control so now you've got to have societal changes legal changes political changes now women have to get back into the workforce why because now they're single and they don't have to marry and they don't have to fuck beta males to make sure that they've got the beta buck side of hypergamy settled, which is provisioning, protection, and parental investment. Now I can have sex and I don't have to, I don't have to marry this bum because I don't have to worry about getting pregnant accidentally. So what happens? As soon as women have the, the ability, and this, by the way, this is the first time in human history that we have an invention that says you can have sex without having to worry about anything with, without pregnancy, and yep. only one sex gets to control that. I mean, you know the other thing that's kind of in that Let's go, baby. Right. Yeah. The reason yeah. why they had to is because they were all getting divorced because they needed to support themselves. Wait, no, no, no. You see the rates of like women being. Whether you like to admit it or not it has had profound effects on our society and profound negative effects so what do you guys think